Hello guys, so I welcome you back on Jackdown Farms, your favorite channel where you get to learn everything catfish farming. So today on our channel, we are going to look at how to fertilize our earthen ponds. Someone may ask, why do I have to fertilize my earthen pond? What is fertilization? Why do you always preach that we keep our, uh, our plastic tanks, our tarpaulin tanks, our concrete tanks clean, and then you ask me to fertilize my earthen pond using uh, poultry manure, poultry waste, and all that. Now here is a simple answer. Just as fertilization is done in agriculture to increase the nutrient content in the soil to promote uh, the growth rate of your crop, fertilization is done in aquaculture, in earthen ponds, to promote the growth rate of microscopic plants in the pond. Now, why do we have to promote the growth rate of microscopic plants in our, in our ponds? Now, there are other living organisms outside your fishes, like worms, that they feed on these micro, microscopic plants like algae. Now, what, 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 why this benefits your fishes is that your fishes also tend to feed on these living organisms like worms. So it's, it's, it's like a two-way thing. You are promoting the growth rate of microscopic plants, but then your fishes feed on the living organism that feeds on the microscopic plant. So that is the benefit of fertilization. Not only that, when a pond is well fertilized, the color tends to come well green. What this does is that it protects the skin of your fishes from direct sunlight. One, it also helps to protect them from predators. What I mean is that predators like flies, uh, uh, sorry, like birds, find it difficult to locate the exact location of your fish in the pond so because the, uh, the, the pond color turns green or something they feel they find it difficult to locate the fishes in your pond to attack them straight forward so that is some of the benefits of fertilization you will go more as the video commences please uh, before we continue kindly follow like and then share the videos for other others to also benefit this is jack down farms your favorite channel where you get to learn everything catfish farming now, how do you fertilize your earthen pond? Earthen pond can be fertilized in two ways. The organic way and then the inorganic way. The inorganic way is by the use of lime powder and formalin and other substances as well. But I am going to educate you on how to use an organic fertilizer to fertilize your pond. Organic fertilizers, I mean poultry manure, uh, cow dung, rabbit manure and so forth. But today we are going to use cow dung to fertilize this pond right here. So what we do is that we package our, egg, uh, our, our poultry, uh, poultry manure or cow dung in a sack and then drop it in the middle of your pond. And let me show you a trick that you will find nowhere. You can see I've already fertilized this pond, but I have that weed as well uh, floating on the surfaces of my pond. Now, feed is very expensive. Feed contributes to about 70 to 80 percent of your production cycle. So, what I do is that because I'm using uh, organic way to fertilize my pond, I normally use cow dung and then poultry manure. Because I use the poultry manure, the nutrient content in my pond water also increases. So, I tend to take advantage of that and then culture uh, that weed on them as well. You can see I have still that weed on them. In about seven days, the whole surface will be covered with dark weed. So that is the benefit or that's the advantage that I take when I'm fertilizing my pond. So I, have, I have another pond here. So let me show you the differences between a fertilized pond and non-fertilized pond. You can see the water color right here. This is a well-fertilized pond. The water turns green and then we have ways that you can actually uh, it can actually help you to determine whether your pond is fertilized or not. So I'll show you that after showing you the way to fertilize it. So uh, my cameraman will bring you right here. If you can see the color of this pond water, this is very clean pond. That tells you it doesn't it doesn't mean the water is safe or the water is perfect for fish farming no this just means that the pond is not well fertilized so i need to re-fertilize or i need to fertilize the pond again when fertilization is done perfectly you can see the water turning green and 
so forth. If you see uh, an aerator or <laughs> if you see aeration going on in my pond, I, will, I have a video as well on my platform that uh, shows you how to construct uh, an air diffuser for air tank pond. So this is done by me. You can see it. You, you won't see it this anywhere. It helps me. That is why I choose to erase my etching pond. The erasing is done in etching pond and every type of pond. So uh, kindly do what to watch that video as well. So now let's go straight to the point. Fertilization. In this case, I am about to fertilize this pond with uh, cow dung. I'm about to fertilize this pond with cow dung. So this is cow dung that I collected from an abattoir. You then put the cow dung in a sack. If it's poultry manure, you put the poultry manure in a sack and then the straight holes on the sack. Be mindful, the sack has to be the type that can allow water inside so that the, uh, uh, the, the cow dung can be dissolved into your pond water. So you prepare holes, make holes in the sack I already started fertilization but because of the video I removed it back and then uh, trying to demonstrate to you how the fertilization is done. So this can be poultry manure, it can be cow dung, it can be any form of manure as well. If you are using the inorganic way, which I will make another video using lime powder to fertilize the pond for you to see. So you just go by dropping this at the middle of your pond make sure it doesn't sink to the bottom so in this case and then we will in this case i just drop my car down here and then make sure i secure it this is a small pond so i don't need to go way back to fertilize it i can just drop it here and then secure it right here so i will take you to a farm that i will be fertilizing the pond next week because it's a bigger pond i'll be using um, lime powder to do the fertilization so fertilization takes place between three days to seven days this pond should be well fertilized and as you can see i have some dark feed as well here please be mindful let me make this clear if you want to fertilize your pond and use my strategy, either poaching azula or dark weed in the pond, please be mindful. Be mindful that when the azula or dark weed grows and then covers the entire surface of your pond, it's also, it's also a disadvantage to your fish. That's if you have fish inside. It's also a disadvantage to your fish because although it's protecting them against direct sunlight, it is also limiting them from uh, receiving small amount of sunlight that is required for them to actually grow well and then fertilization sorry the azula or the dark wheat also prevents oxygen from entering the pond as well because uh, unlike other earthen ponds that i have generated an air diffuser erasing my pond here there is no form of aeration going on there so the ripple effect on the surface also uh, also helps the, uh, the, 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 the pond to be aerated. So if you have azula or dark weed covering all the entire surface area, it is a disadvantage, a disadvantage. You always have to clear some part, just allow it to cover about 70% surface area and you are good. So this is guys, this is how to fertilize your uh, earthen pond. After the fertilization period is done, about 7 days, the water turns green. This is how you are going to uh, be able to ascertain whether your pond is well fertilized. You can just dip your hand in the pond water to your elbow elbow level. If you can still if you can still see traces or shadows of your palm, that tells you your pond is well fertilized. If you cannot see any shadow at all, it tells you your pond is too fertilized. And if you, if you can see your palm clearly without any uh, 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 obstruction, if, if, you're, you're, if you can actually see your palm clearly, it tells you your pond is not well fertilized. If the water is exactly, it tells you your, 
your pond is not fertilized at all. So that is a simple way to check if your pond is well fertilized. So guys, that is it for fertilization. If you are watching this video, this is Jack Down Farm, your favorite channel where you get to learn everything cast fish farming. If you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly do well to subscribe, like the video, and share for others to also benefit. Bye bye.